Many people say, I sow seed and I did not reap it. A lot of people, because they, they thought that they have, they have invested much in the kingdom of God, without any results, without any harvest in return, they begin to question. They say, does it mean that God is not true? I will tell you a reason. Number one reason, do you give in the name of the Lord? Or you, do you give because of your lust? The Bible said to us the major two areas to invest in the kingdom of God. Jesus said, whosoever that lose anything for the kingdom, number one, and for the gospel's sake, shall receive it in hundred foes. I see a lot of people, the way they sow seed, the way they give, is because preacher, forgive me if I may misunderstand the way they do things, but in the name of manipulating them, they will tell them, oh, when you give 100 million, God will bless you. When you give 300 million, God will bless you. If you can carry a seed of 100,000, God will bless you. I want you to know there is no amount of seed or amount of money you give to God to impress God. That is number one. And number two, I want you to know that every giving you are giving to God must be based on two things. Number one, your faith in God. And number two, your love for God. Number one, your faith in God. Number two, your love for God. If your giving did not have this foundation, you will not receive it. If your giving has no faith in God and your love for God, you will not receive it. Why am I giving to God? I am giving to God because I believe that God will fulfill what He promised. That God is faithful. I have faith in Him. Then why am I giving to God? Number two, I am giving because I love God. I love the work of God to move forward. I love God's faith to be preached. I love God to be known all over the world. So God, I am giving to God so that the name of the Lord will be glorified. If these two areas becomes your major priority in giving, you begin to receive the harvest. But when people are giving because they want to buy car, they give. Because they want to build a house, they give. But because they want to buy land, they give. Sometimes somebody will tell you, come and touch my shoe. A man of God, in the name of a prophet, he said, come and touch my shoe. Many people are beginning to touch the shoe of somebody, touching their shoe with 10,000, touching the shoe with 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, 500,000, just to touch shoe. These people are being brainwashed. These people are being brainwashed. And those giving, those money you are giving in that kind of ministry, I tell you the truth, you have already lost your money. Don't look for return. Don't look for harvest. The Lord sent me to a brother to tell this brother that he have wasted his money. I went to the shop of this brother. I told him everything the Lord said. The brother began to cry. I said that he went to a particular ministry and he so huge amount of money. I want to tell you that after this brother had given that kind of money, he entered into trouble. He lost his money. He lost his business. Everything, even his house, he lost it. Brother that was doing well before because he ended up going to a place where God is not at all and decided to invest and tap into the power on the altar. And the power he tapped into ended up destroying his life, destroying his business. Do you know that whenever you go to any church or any ministry or anywhere and commit your resources there, automatically you have activated the power on that altar. I pray that the power you will activate that will work for you will be a good power. It will not be a negative power that will destroy what you have. Share this message to many people. Follow the Facebook page and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. God of peace and the peace of God be with you. See you next time and bye.